where do you feel like this leaves the Knicks trade deadline wise? Uh, they still have, you know, plenty of assets in that cupboard. And, and I think interest in certain guys, what, what is the calculus change now that they have OG? So people talk all the time about their chase for a star and yada, yada, yada. I, I don't think the organization expects some big star to become available before the trade deadline. I know there's talk about DeJounte Murray. I personally don't think he makes a lot of sense for them basketball wise. I do think losing quickly, what that does is it just leaves a huge hole in their bench lineup. They, they've played Jalen Brunson 41 minutes on Monday and 38 minutes on Wednesday. And it sounds like that is going to continue. And the reason that that's happening is not just because Tom Thibodeau is the head coach of the Knicks. It's also because they are just not scoring in their second unit when Brunson's off the floor. Like you look at those plus minuses for OG Ananobi. And part of the reason why they're that is because his minutes have basically matched with Brunson over these first two games. They're just not scoring with Brunson off the floor. Uh, they're really struggling to create Brunson had 14 assists career high on Monday, 13 assists, which would have been tied his career high. If it hadn't been for the Monday game on Wednesday, not a coincidence. He is taking on a much larger playmaking burden. I could see them trying to go out and just get another ball handler, a backup point guard who can, who can run the offense a little bit more competently than what they have now, who can be a little bit more of a stabilizing force. Maybe can go play next to Brunson if you need him to, but can also play 15 minutes when you need him to also. I could see them going after somebody like that just to help with the offense when, when Brunson's not there. To tie a bow on that for me, guys, um, on the Toronto side, I don't, uh, you know, there's been some framing of their situation, like, oh, they're now going to, you know, see how this new roster looks with Pascal Siakam and make a decision on that front. I, I'd be a little surprised if they don't move him by the deadline. Uh, it feels like it's it's heading that direction. So that is obviously going to be front and center. You mentioned DeJounte, Fred. He's another name that is getting louder uh, in addition to the ones we've been talking about every week on here. 